going to be building from scratch a budget or custom fermentation chamber. Um, it's just going to be heated because here in Wales, here's not going to go over say 20 degrees uh, for nine months of the year. I'm just going to be doing a simple one. So the main things that I've bought um, for this little mod is obviously a nice big piece of MDF, some insulation, Inkbird STC controller. You can obviously just buy the Inkbird controller that was 25 quid and this one's a tenner and I'm pretty comfortable with the wiring. Disclaimer, it will get checked by my electrician, qualified electrician friend, STC, and also a 40 watt greenhouse type heater. The same process as building one if you've got a fridge, but I thought I'd make one that's a little bit bigger just to see if I can get two buckets into it. And there's that. Can't wait to get started. Let's, let's get it done. When I just try to put two fermenters in that corner with allowing for some gap around it for this stuff doesn't fit but underneath this table it seems to be perfect for two fermenters or one fermenter and a few bottles when i'm doing any um bottle carving or something like that check this out so you can see that's one star sand bucket one bottling bucket but you get the gist all here i'm gonna block in and turn it into a fermentation chamber so this is where we're gonna have it insulation here on the back on the sides and across the top so i can still have storage up here already got some power underneath there and it'll be tucked away nicely i think let's get it done So I've skipped ahead a little bit, carried on with cutting the boards and fitting them in nicely. This is pretty decent, plenty of room in there for two fermenters. So the next job is to fit the heating tube. I'm going to fit this round about there to leave plenty of space either side. I'm not sure exactly where the cables and stuff are going to go. but. There's a block of wood I've put behind there to be able to screw the brackets for this straight through, which will hold these steady as well. And this is fitted pretty good without any glue, basically. Um, only this board, yeah, just squeezed everything into place. So yeah, pretty impressed so far. Oh, Jesus. So that's the brackets on for the heater and the rest of the harder's nails adhesive to put the lid on. I'm going to have a side access door and that's where I'm going to be putting the STC, I think. Uh, I'm not quite sure yet, just making it up as I go along. So whilst the glue is settling on this, I'm just going to go all the way around the seams with a bit of aluminium tape. Seals joints of heating and ventilation ducts. That'll do, won't it? All right, mess. I'm gonna cut it there because this is gonna contain a lot of swearing. Managed to cover all the internal bits with that silver tape. It looks pretty good, actually. Looks really dodgy. Honestly, I'm just growing beer. It's looking good. Another day, just gonna trim this uh, MDF board to fit the, uh, the gap here, the access hatch. Gonna be using the good old trusty jigsaw instead. Is it pizzy? Woo! Make a glove. Make a love glove. Yes, I know, I know.
Well, that's snug. So next job, just put a couple of handles on it and work out how I'm gonna secure it to the side. I think I might just get the um, butterfly clips, if you know what I mean. You know, you spin them round and they just lock in place. I think that'll be sufficient. So now that the door is fitting, I need to try and sort the wiring out. There's nowhere easy to put the SCC considering the whole door comes off and I want to use the top bit for a shelf. So I'm thinking of just wiring this up anyway, putting all the cables from the back of the chamber and then I can move this to wherever I want. I might fix it underneath this table, uh, might just leave it on the shelf there and use a bit of uh, stick like shit or something. So like I said at the beginning of the um, vid, if you're not confident in doing this sort of installation yourself, seek advice from a qualified electrician. It's my disclaimer anyway. Now I'm not using cooling at the moment. I'm gonna ditch the idea of the fan for the time being. So there we have it. We're all wired up. And here's the moment of truth. Here we go. Nothing went bang. Sensor's working, let's see if the heater works. So there we are, the heating has just kicked on. I'm just wait for some temperature in this now. So whilst I'm just waiting for that to test, I've had a bit of an idea with regards to the bottom of the uh, chamber. Now, trying to get fermenters in and out and some spillages and stuff like that, it's gonna be a nightmare, because a full fermenter, what, 25 kilos, you're not gonna be able to slide it on the polystyrene um, insulation. So, when I bought some clear perspex, I'm going to cut this to size and in order to spice it up a bit or make it look a bit, bit better, I'm going to lay a couple of these underneath the um, perspex. Let's get the jigsaw out again. Do you know what, that's completely not necessary to kind of decorate it like that, but I'm sure you'd agree it makes a massive difference. Following that bit of beautiful paintwork, I've fitted the handles and I've also fitted a couple of, I don't know what you call them, uh, butterfly clips either side. I'm sure somebody will be able to uh, point me in the right word for that. So let's have a look at the, uh, the final result.
So as you can see, there's been two day gap between me finishing the door and brewing a couple of beers and chucking them in there. They're holding very steady of 20 degrees. There's not much fluctuation at all, considering what it is at the end of the day. Obviously got my proper fermentation fridge here with heating and cooling facilities. But like I said, that one there is just purely going to be used for um, heating. So I do have a fan to install if I want to. Maybe that'll be in, the, in another video sometime if I feel it's necessary. For me, that is a very budget, simple solution for your fermentation temperature. And we all know how important a steady fermentation temperature is for the quality of beer. So. I think that's a great option for people who are starting out or people who've got a weird space that they can't fit a fridge in. Maybe you can build one of these just to fit a couple of demijohns in or stack two demijohns in a little tiny area with a little shelf in between. I don't know. I do hope that this video is useful to somebody. Feel free to share on any pages that you're on if you think it'll help somebody out. I'll be sharing on the pages that I'm a member of as well. Hope you find it useful. Um, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And yeah, got loads of stuff planned. So I'm going to have a beer to celebrate. Only a small beer. It is a school night and this is 8.8% double IPA. Yechida. Happy brewing.